Hey everybody, this is Drew Monk. Um, let's see. Uh, today I want to talk about the homeless out here and more of their characteristics or their psychopathy, as we may call it. Um, their mental disturbances or just the, the craziness that's out here. And I would say about uh, 90 and 95 percent of those that are out here contain uh, some of these traits or the characteristics of uh, psychopathy. And I'm gonna go over them today, and um, yeah, I make comment on a few of them. Glibness, superficial charm. Now, uh, some of them, not too many, have the superficial charm, but when they want something, they use manipulation to charm people. And I've seen them charm um, other Christian uh, ministers and and people at churches, and uh, had one person. There were uh, one couple that was so good that they, they, they uh, <clears throat> you know, they end up uh, working in their office and they stole a lot of the homeless people's information, you know, credit card fraud and stuff like that. And uh, I mentioned it to the lady and uh, she got rid of them, but you know, it might have been too late. But that, they're so they're pretty smooth in manipulation and manipulation, and a lot of the ministers out here aren't, aren't looking for that. Uh, for them being fooled, they just see the external, their niceness, but they don't bother to look for any further. Uh, and those people were um, credit card thieves and stuff. That they have a rap sheet on that. So then you have another uh, Christian ministry. Uh, their ministers, they love this one guy, and he does drugs right on the grounds and everything. And he's, big, he's one of the biggest drug dealers out here. Yeah, they can't see it. So they're they're very can. A few of them are very charming. And if you let your guard down, you'll get fooled by them. And some of them have our previous diagnoses of psychopathy or anything or something uh, similar to that. Next one is uh, uh, egocentricity, grandiose sense of self-worth. They go it goes uh, from one to another. It goes from a grandiose self-worth to all feeling like uh, horrible, like uh, being in depression. But we're talking about uh, the grandiose feeling, yeah. They feel they're above the world, you know, and um, they can do anything, no rules. They can break all rules and everything. Like I see that quite a bit. Uh, and that's the psychological, uh, pathological lying and deception. A lot of that out here. I mean, they, they don't seem to know what it is to tell the truth. I mean, that's how bad it can get to some with some of these people. Uh, let's see. Uh, they're cunning, lack of sincerity. Uh, yeah, you see that. Uh, you just kind of overlook that. I mean, lack of remorse or guilt. Yes, they have no guilt. Very little to remorse. They don't know any difference. Lack, lack of effect of emotional depth. Yeah, a lot of them, they, they just go by reactions and they don't think twice about who they're going to hurt. You know, they don't want to be hurt themselves, so they. A lot of them uh, hurt others. They were quicker to help uh, hurt others than want to be hurt. They like empathy. They're, they're uh, callous, yes. The parasitic lifestyle, yes. They mooch on everybody. I can ask you for cigarettes, everybody they come across. Then they'll steal from them. Um, they'll pretend that they're friends and wait till they get drunk and then they'll steal all their valuables. So see that a lot out here. Short-tempered, poor behavior controls. Yes, uh, quite a bit of that. Now you throw all these things, throw drugs and alcohol on top of these things, and you and, and things just skyrocket. All these behaviors just double and triple. Uh, promiscuous sexual relationships. Yeah, I've had young girls out here that you know want to do it three, four, five, six times a day. You know, and uh, throw the drugs on top of that. Uh, that's especially around the uh, crystal meth. Crystal meth uh, and it uh, causes um, these desires and stuff, you know. And uh, they've all had some kind of early behavior problems. I mean, they've, a lot of them probably were brought up through the foster care system, or somewhere along the teens, they they pick up the drugs. And if they have a long-term plans, no, they rarely ever have long-term plans. Although, you know, once in a while you'll hear them say, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, but totally insincere. 
they know they're not going to do it. I guess they kind of fool themselves, and uh, they do it, I think, to fool others into thinking that they're, you know, going to get somewhere in life. And they know what very well that it's just more of a manipulative uh, tool they use. Impulsive, yes, very impulsive. They don't think things out. Responsible behaviors like parents, if they, if they have children, yes, they don't think about the kids. Um, junior juvenile delinquency, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of them come from foster care homes or really a bad uh, home environment. Uh, parole risk, poor probation or parole risk. Uh, failure to, ex to accept responsibility. Oh, that's a big one. Out here, nobody wants to res you know, uh, be responsible, especially for their own mis misdeeds. Um, they're quick to uh, point the finger at others and blame others for their failures. So that's, that's another big one out here. Failure to accept responsibility. And like I said, alcohol and drug abuse on top of these already psychopathic uh, problems and traits, you know, just double up on, on, you know, on dealing, knowing how to deal with them, you know. These are all antisocial behaviors, you know. We learned them since a lot of them when they were young and some of them grew up in the foster care system where they continued that antisocial behavior and then out here and you see a lot of it, a lot of antisocial behavior. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of them get booted out of their house because of the drugs and stuff and antisocial behavior. But anyway, that's just wanted to bring that up to you guys. Uh, these are the traits of um, a lot of them. I would say 90, 95% of those are out here to a high degree, all of them. Not to low degree, but high degree, you know. And, um, like I said, a lot of them might be mental issues since, you know, birth. I mean, you don't know where it all began because alcohol and drugs cover things up or add to the problem. So hard to tell where people are and how they became how they became. But anyways, you, we could, uh, we could kind of check out what they're like, their personalities are like by looking at these traits and, you know, and comparing to them, see to what degree. Uh, they're in and how deep they are into this psychopathy. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Street Monk, you know, I think we all have a little bit of traits of uh, these traits in us, so don't go all panicking. You know, I got, I saw myself in a couple of those things and uh, well, luckily I was at a, a lower degree. But uh, anyway, that's just a, a, a list of psychological traits, like psychopathy, which is an, an antisocial kind of behavior trait. So. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, talk to you later.